Willie, brother Willie. Have you ever thought about how that diva complex came that diva complex came about? Now remember some of the TV shows that we used to see. Remember? Remember 227? Remember Jack K. Harris, how she used to carry herself on 227? Remember the Jeffersons? Remember how the maid Florence used to carry herself? Look at some of the images of black women. Remember Florida Jefferson? Florida, Florida Jefferson. <laughs> Florida Evans. Remember how she carried herself? Remember, no, remember Weezy Jefferson. Remember how she carried herself? See, the diva complex came from people trying to be like Jack A. Hey, huh? They shit don't stink and huh? they the finest shit in the room and please. Some of these women fail to realize when they turn up their nose, they're not just turning up their nose on you and me and everybody else. They turn up their nose on they self. And like you said, when these people have respect for themselves, when they have done what they're supposed to do in life, when they are doing what they're supposed to do to have, you know, a regular life, you know, don't nobody want to walk down the street and have to worry about people calling them nigga and bitches and hoes, or you, nobody want to walk down the street in their own neighborhood and see a bunch of cars all in front of somebody's house, or nobody wants to walk down the street and see a bunch of people hanging out mean mugging them, you know, when they should be at school or at work or somewhere. Nobody wants to see ignorant shit. And like you're saying, the dude answered his own question. You can't tell nobody shit when they get a certain age because they fingers so far up their ass, they think they shit don't stink. Fingers up their ass to plug up the shit from coming out because they full of shit. Get the picture? A lot of people out there, Willie Pete, are ignorant to the point to where it's everything you say is fucking foul to them. Oh, Willie Pete can't never say nothing positive because they act and live like your complaint. Willie Pete don't give solutions. As far as I'm concerned, Willie Pete complains. He bitches too much about the situation around him and all his bitching does create motherfucking bitches. You, you enable these bitch motherfuckers to act the way they do because you piss them off by telling them how they act and they see that you're pissing them off and uh, Willie's a man so Willie's being mean because he's talking about black people. I say the same shit about every one of your fucking videos because it's the same. I got the same answer for every one of your fucking videos, dude. The people who look at you and listen to your shit is fucking stupid. People who believe in you as if you're godlike are fucking idiots. I said it. Because you have to understand Willie P. He's not God. He's not the all-knowing. He's a regular cat speaking his point of view. He see bullshit. I can see you as a little white kid right now. You're like, I see bullshit. I fucking feel for you because you see too much bullshit and you're intelligent enough to tell people about it. That hurts. I wish you were stupid so I can have something negative to say about you, but I can't. You're too smart and you're too intelligent to be constantly talking to these people about the same thing. They're stunning your growth. I said it. These people who watch you and who want you to only talk about black women, you've already talked about black women. You've already talked about black men. And you're no, you know better or no worse than I am because I understand one thing about you and I notice it. And I notice it when I watch your videos. If somebody says something, you let that shit go. When somebody says some real stupid shit, you let the shit go. When somebody says shit for no reason at all, you all over that shit. You get, do you get what I'm saying, Willie? You understand that? Not even the great Willie Pete is entitled to bitch about what he sees. Not even the great real AIX is tied, entitled to bitch. We're not entitled to do anything. We're not born to do anything. Our whole main purpose is to be the best we can. For who? Why? People are not going to understand this video, Willie. They're going to think I'm talking shit to Willie Pete. They're going to start flagging me. Ooh, flag him off, flag him. He's talking to Willie Pete.
because they're the simple-minded who start these flagging campaigns because they can't debate with somebody. Now, you talk a lot of truth in your videos. But you never, <laughs> but you never, what's the word I want to say? You never shut the door. You know what I mean? It's like, Willie Pete is six foot seven, 216 pounds. He used to play football. He didn't make it to the pros because he fucked up his knee. Period. That's a fucked up statement to make. And the door is wide open. Now, in other words, if somebody would have came off like this, Willie Pete is six foot seven, two hundred and forty five pounds. He would have been a great football player. But something went down in high school. I think he bumped his knee or something. But hey, he's still doing his thing. And you know, he might uh not he might not play football no more like he used to, but hey, <laughs> that man Willie Pete, he do what he do. And can't nobody stop him from doing what he do. They might have stopped him from playing football, but they can't stop him from making videos. You get that? The door closed. They can't stop you from making videos. Bottom line, no matter how people feel or what they think about you, nobody is entitled to bitch. But if you ask me, player, and I know you're going to hit me back and you ain't going to be happy when I finish this video, but hey, we still do what we do because we can do this. You bitch more than a lot of people, man. But the problem with that is I do too. So until later... You've been too. Oh, yeah, man. I thought about this, Willie. I'm about to get up and walk away before I said it. Wouldn't that be nice if I called in on your talk show and blog talked it up with you one day? You hit me back and let me know when next, your next show is going up. You tell me when you want me to call in. And we can talk. We can argue. We can fuss. We can debate. We can talk about how back how it was back in the days when I thought I was gonna be a linebacker. But instead of me coming out like six foot nine, two ninety five. You can't play linebacker at that. Don't nah, forget. I end up five foot seven, hundred and seventy nine pounds. My linebacker days are over, buddy. But hey, let me tell you something though. When it comes down to real knowledge on YouTube, there's a handful of people that I even like listening to. There's a handful of people that I will even debate with and argue with. Some of the best arguments I ever had on YouTube have been with you, Willie B. Sometimes the good days might have to end. One day I'm going to be gone and you're going to be the only one left. You and, you know, a handful of my other friends on YouTube. And once I'm gone... I want everybody out there to remember me. Remember what my so-called catchphrase is. And when you always think about what used to be YouTube, which is now the people's network on the internet, you remember the real AIX. Because I bet you, no matter how much fucking bitching me and you do, no matter how long this whole fucking YouTube thing lasts, I bet you, in the end, in the very end, when it's all said and done, they'll remember who the Sergeant Willie Pete is because he bitched and bitched and complained and bitched until one day, one person got up and changed their life. And all you have to do, Willie, is change one. Just one. <laughs> no. Now you've been tubed. Oh, yeah. And they claim we can't bitch no more because of this. We have no more right to argue because of this. You believe that? I don't. <laughs>